Hi and uh, welcome. Uh, in this tutorial I will assume that you already have a SVN server set up or that you have access to one and I also just want to add that I don't know if this is the best way of doing it. Um, it's just a way I've discovered through trial and error that uh, is a little to no fuss and, and works pretty well. Alright, let's get started. First thing you want to do is uh, open up uh, Xcode and we're going to set up the repo in Xcode. To do that you want to go up to SCM tab and then configure SCM repositories. Uh, you're going to click the plus tab and next thing you want to add all the relevant uh, details. Uh, by the way I'm using Google Codes project hosting for the demonstration. Uh, it's, it's pretty nice and uh, it's free. <clears throat> One thing to do uh, to note uh, if you're going to use Google Code is that the password is not the password that you use to log into Google Code and Gmail and so on. Um, Google Code will provide you with the password if you go to if you follow that link. All right, as you can see, we've been authenticated with Google Code, and click Apply. All right, uh, we have added the repository to Xcode. Uh, next thing we want to do is we uh, want to open up the project that we're going to upload uh, and I just uh, made a skeleton version open. Um, if you do browse to the directory of the project you'll probably notice if you have the default settings that there's a build directory. Um, you need to remove that build directory and it's important to change where Xcode places uh, the build directory. To do that you're going to go to project, edit project settings and then down here at place intermediate build files in you're going to choose custom and what I normally do is I just uh, name it whatever the project is underscore build. Uh, you're going to select or copy that and go to the build tab and also uh, enter that here in build productions path. Alright, once you've done that uh, you are set to go. Um, if you do t -t -t remove the build path from this and you build now, you will notice that the build path is outside of the project uh, folder. Okay, next thing we want to do is import this project to the repository. To do that you're going to go to SCM and click on repositories. Select the repository and select import uh, browse to the project folder and select import come on all right uh, next thing you can do is you can close the the project window okay now we are going to check the new folder out from the repository um, when you can delete the the old uh, test and test build um, folders I, I usually recommend not doing that because if something does go wrong you don't want to lose it uh, unless you have a back backup of the folders don't do it um, I'm just gonna create a new folder call it SVN and then save it as test in there check out uh, it'll prompt me if I want to open it and I'm going to say yes. Alright, last step but uh, crucial. You want to set up this new project uh, to be um, used in the to use the proper repository. And to do that you're going to go up to SCM and say configure SCM for this project. You know to configure roots in SCM and repository and choose the relevant one. It uh, recommends this which is nice. Say OK and now we should have uh, set it up successfully we can verify this by doing a few small tests um, if we go into main and change it a little say that 
uh, you will note in here that it says main has been modified that's what the uh, M stands for um, you can compare it to the original and it'll show you what's been added um, and if you want to commit it to the repository just select all the relevant files right click and commit changes Alright, and we can verify this if we do go into our uh, subversion repository, click on source, browse, try and test, and look at main.c and we can see the change. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope this was helpful. Bye bye.